Well, I think I've pretty much converted over to y'all's side. <laughs> He's a damn Yankee. <laughs> I wrote my master's thesis on Ulysses S. Grant, and I wrote my dissertation on O.O. O. Howard as a Union general. Uh, studied under a guy that's the Grant expert. I mean, I learned, and maybe you can, you, well, you went to Robert E. Lee High School, didn't you? I would have gone there. If yeah. I stayed in Houston. Robert E. Lee High School. There's two Robert E. Lee High Schools in Houston. Uh, <laughs> but we, I learned that it was the war of northern aggression. I joined a fraternity, Kappa Alpha Order, where Robert E. Lee was our spiritual founder. It's the largest fraternity in the South. And every year we dressed up in Confederate uniforms. The women wore hoop skirts. We marched across campus and raised the stars and bars <laughs> over the campus. Uh, it's a, so it's still huge. If you've never read Confederates in the Attic, I'd really encourage you to read it. It's not a history book. It's Tony Horowitz's book. Tony Horowitz is what, 80 Days in Baghdad or something? Great writer. But it all talks about that lost cause mentality. Southerners are very serious about their um, history. I went to a Civil War roundtable as a, as a college student, and they said, Abraham who? <laughs> I mean, is that, is that intense? Am I lying? No, no. it's that intense. It's, I mean, I, had a, I held a, a ceremony on January 19th one year called Convivium, and we toasted the water to Robert E. Lee. And I always learned Robert E. Lee was the marble man, and Ulysses Grant was the drunken butcher. And, you know, I pretty much have come converted completely. This, even James Robertson, a historian, is writing about how Lee was against slavery. And then you see how he treated his wife's slaves, and it's just totally preposterous to think that Lee's against slavery. That Grant was this drunken butcher. Well, they can never show where Grant was drunk more than once in the entire war, and it was never in a means to where the battle took place. And mostly because of illness, and he's a lightweight. He was not kicked out of the army for drunkenness. They can never prove that. He was never court-martialed for it when he was in California. But who wouldn't drink in California in the 1850s? I mean, seriously, I've never seen his kid since his newborn kid, hadn't seen his wife in a couple of years, I'm going to go have a few beverages. I don't know about you. <laughs> Did you ever go back and visit your fraternity brothers? I'm on their list, sir, but I, you know, our fraternity on my campus on Baylor's been kicked off for hazing. <laughs> 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 but it's still a huge fraternity. If you've ever been to Robert E. Lee's grave, I encourage you to go. Do you know where, it's, do you know where he's buried? In a church. His carsophagus is as tall as me. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. Oh, it's fascinating. And it's tall as me, and it's sitting, laying prone at the end of this church pews row. You walk down the pew aisle, and there is Robert e. Lee laying in state. And he's looking out this window to where horse traveler is buried right outside the window. Oh, where is it? This is in Lexington, Virginia, at Washington Lee College, mm. where he was president right after the war. But the Southerners definitely see Robert e. Lee as this, just this great general, which I think is probably a pretty good general, although how many battles did he win after Stonewall Jackson's killed? Good answer, none. You, you mentioned a few times that being from Arizona, that the Native Americans used the reservation to their advantage. Could you kind of explain that from the southwestern side? Southwestern well, well, first of all, this talk would not be popular with American Indians in general um, because I don't, victimization is coming back into a, a thing rather than agency of American Indian history. They, well, they use this agency because they own huge plots of land. I mean, if you've been to Phoenix and you know Scottsdale, it's an Indian reservation sits right in the middle of uh, the suburbs of Scottsdale, a huge reservation. And they own this land. They have a casino there. They get to keep their, they have their own tribal schools, their own tribal fire department. They have their own, it's their own community. So they've created this community that continues to promote their lifestyle. Now, most of them assimilated to some extent. Obviously, casinos is not really a native, <laughs> and, but I'd call that agency. Although a lot of casinos don't make a lot of money. That's a myth, again, that they all make money. But they are agents of uh, American Indian power, if that makes any sense. As, as you're going to find out in about 30 miles south of here, they're going to have one starting up pretty soon. And, uh, Battle Creek's going up this summer, and a year from the summer, especially another one in Wayland. It's an interesting, it's an interesting debate that historians are going to write about for years, but somewhere I read only 30% of all Indian casinos make money, which I find kind of hard to believe. Hard. Yeah. That must mean the others are breaking even. But you know, all baseball owners say they're losing money half the time, too, and none of them are going bankrupt. <laughs> and so I wonder how they count their money. Well, Scott, thank you very much. Thank you all. And uh, we never let the speaker get away without showing some sign of gratitude, even if uh, he did belong to that horrible fraternity. <laughs> but anyway, here's your Hallenstein Center.
tote bag. And we appreciate very much your uh, participating you. in this conference and helping organize it and asking us. Scott was actually the gentleman who asked us to partner in this conference. And I get a gift for it. <laughs> you do. Yeah. I'm also on the board of MCSS, so if you all have any well, complaints, I've got plenty of those myself. So <laughs> the input would be good. We'll take it. And we really appreciate Gleaves being here. Hey, thanks, thanks. again. All right.